This is chapter four, the great Captain Morgan. The sort of townsfolk passerby are reacting to what Luffy just did. They say he he really did it. He punched the captain's son. Captain Morgan will be furious. Kobe tries to stop Luffy, he says. Luffy, stop. Are you trying to pick a fight with the whole Navy? Luffy isn't even listening. He just says, scum is scum, no matter who its father is. And then Helmeppo is crying on the ground. You, you hit me. You actually hit me. No one has ever hit me. Not even son. I'm telling daddy on you. And everyone is just shocked. There's a big collective gasp. Luffy says, don't run crying to papa. Face me like a man. And Kobe's just holding him back saying, Luffy, please stop. Elmepo just starts to walk away and he says, you'll die begging for Mercy, you're a walking corpse. Father will kill you, you booger face. Luffy just says, he's not worth hitting. Kobe says, now you've done it. The little girl is now talking to Luffy and she says, you are great big brother. I feel a lot better now. Luffy responds, then I wish I'd given him a few more whacks just for you. Her mom says, Rika, get over here. You shouldn't be talking to that person. If they think you're his friend, they'll kill you too. And Rika responds, but mommy, he's a good man, and Zoro, he's a good. And then the mom just cuts her off and says, what are you saying? You didn't go to the parade ground. She's kind of embarrassed. She's like, um, well, no, oh. And then the mom just says, hurry up, let's get inside, and slams the door. Luffy is not phased by this, and he just has a smile on his face. But Kobe is freaking out. He says, they won't let you get away with this. And Captain Morgan has the whole Navy behind him. And Luffy just says, yeah, whatever. I need to go talk to Zoro. Now we're looking at the naval fortress and the silhouette of Captain Morgan. He says, I'm so great. And his soldier says, Yes, sir. You certainly are, sir. Sir. And then the captain responds, Then why are the tributes from the peasants and townsfolk getting smaller? The soldier responds, Yes, sir. Regarding your tributes, I believe the townspeople are now too poor to raise. He doesn't even let him stop talking. Captain Morgan says, It's not a question of how much they can pay. It's a question of the respect for me. And Helmelpo barges in and he screams, Daddy, what's wrong, Helmelpo? Why the commotion? I want you to kill someone for me, he says. Cut back to the parade grounds, and we see Luffy and Zoro are back together. Luffy says, hey, and Zoro just says, you again. If this is about me joining your pirate crew, my answer is still no. Luffy just ignores him and says, call me Luffy. I'll untie you if you join my pirate crew, okay? Zoro just indignant 
says you don't listen, boy. I've got my own mission and it doesn't involve becoming a stinking pirate. You're too good to be a pirate, Luffy says. You a bounty hunter who everyone thinks is some sort of demon. And Zoro says, I don't care what people think. I live by my own code. I've never done anything I regret and I don't intend to in the future. Which is why I'll never be a pirate. Luffy says, sorry, but I've made up my mind. You're gonna join my crew. Zoro's yelling now, I don't care what you've decided. Luffy says, I heard you can use a sword. And Zoro says, Oomph, if I wasn't tied up, I'd show you. So, where are your swords now? Luffy says, Zoro responds, they took them from me, the captain's idiot son. Next to my life, those swords are my dearest treasures. Hmm. Luffy says, treasures, huh? Too bad they took them. I know. I'll get your swords from the idiot's son. Zoro says, what? Luffy says, then if you want your swords back, you'll have to join my crew. You little rat. Hey, come back. See you soon. watching Luffy run away and he says he's going into the fortress. That's one dumb pirate. Now we're on the roof of the Navy base and we can see they're lifting a statue of Captain Morgan and the soldiers are saying okay, steady, stand it up. And Meppo's furious. He's yelling, Father, why aren't you hunting the brigand who hit me? Even you never laid a hand on my lovely yet masculine face before. And Morgan just says, do you know why I've never hit you? Uh, because I'm your beloved son. I'll tell you why. It's because you're an idiot son who's not even worth hitting. And then he smacks El Meppo. Why should I fight your battles? You're big enough to wipe your own bottom. I don't mind if you use my status, but I only lay hands on people who defy me. And then it's kind of an announcement panel that says, Naval Captain Axan Morgan. So you are not the great one. I am great. I am the great one. I heard a little mouse snuck into my parade ground. And my bow says, uh, the, the little girl. I, I dealt with her. I and the captain says, Oh, so you killed her. And Mepo says, what? No, no, I, uh, she was just a little girl and I, uh, she didn't know what she was doing. And Captain Morgan just says, you, pointing to a random soldier, find her and kill her. Child or not, anyone who defies me must suffer the penalty. And then the soldier says, but Captain, she's just a little girl. I wouldn't obey such a cruel order. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? You are a lieutenant in the Navy, aren't you? And I, a captain, am your superior officer, am I not? Uh, yes, sir. Then you are duty bound to obey me. If I say kill her, then you will murder a little girl. Mutiny. And he slashes the soldier with his axe hand. You don't have to kill him, El Mepo says. And then the other 
the soldiers react, running over to the soldier, saying, Lieutenant. Captain Morgan continues, No matter the townsfolk must be taught respect. I'll handle it personally. For years I labored to achieve this rank, and I did it by my own strength at great personal cost. Rank means everything in this world. Remember that. My rank is the highest on this base, which makes me superior to everyone else here. That means everything I do is right. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You are the greatest, sir. This is a monument to my rank in power. It took years to build, but today it is finally complete. Raise my statue, put it at the highest point of this fortress as a symbol of my greatness. Go back to Luffy at the bottom of the tower. He's saying, that's funny, there aren't any sailors around. Maybe they're having a meeting or something. No one to help me find Zoro's swords or the idiot son. Back to the roof. The soldiers are pulling the statue now. Eve, Eve, clunk. What was that? Did you just bump it? Sorry, sir. We were careless, sir. Huh. I think I hear voices up there, Luffy says. I'll just check it out. And he starts to stretch his arm. And he launches it way up to the edge of the roof and grabs on gum gum rocket and he launches himself up like a rubber band swine do you know how long I've waited for this statue to be finished says the captain you've already scratched it sorry sir I'll pay you to have it fixed this statue is like my person. Scratching it is the same as attacking me. Let this be a warning to all. As the captain winds his axe hand up to slash this soldier. Incoming is Luffy who says, Whoa, I overshot. And the soldiers can see him flying in and they say, What's that? It came from below. And Luffy grabs onto the ropes holding the statue and says, Got it. Huh? And he basically just completely breaks the statue as he uses the ropes as a way to not fly away when he's jumping onto the roof. Everybody is reacting. Captain Morgan has a really funny expression on his face and all the soldiers just kind of like looking dumb like oops and he just says um sorry and the statue comes crashing down captain axan morgan is furious he's screaming seize him i'll have his heart yes sir aye aye sir and now meppo screams daddy that's the ruffian who hit me if you had killed him this never would have I've been looking for you, Luffy says as he grabs help Meppo. Let me go. Father, help. He's entering the fortress. Get him. Help me. Captain, someone's in the parade ground. What? All these rebels defying me. Kill them all. And, uh, cut back to the parade ground see it's Gobi talking to Zoro. He says, what? Luffy went into the fortress. Why is he so reckless? And Zoro responds, yeah, I've noticed. Who is he anyway? Hey, now you're being reckless. As Gobi starts to untie him, if they catch you, free me. They'll kill you. And Gobi responds, they imprisoned you unfairly. I can't stand to see the Navy act impossible. 
sailor, just like Luffy's going to be the king of the pirates. And Zoro just says, what? King of the pirates? Does he know what that means? And Gobi says, ha, I was shocked when he first told me to, but he'll succeed or die trying. That's how he is. And then, boom, a shock rings out and hits Gobi as he's trying to untie Zoro. Zoro just gives a menacing look in the direction of the shooter. And the soldiers are now chasing Luffy and they say, There he is! Get him! And Luffy says, Where are Zoro's swords? And El Mepo says, I I'll tell you, just stop dragging me. 